Jim, when I think about uh, you, I always think about a lot of different things, but more specifically, probably around going and hunting and fishing. Um, you love to go dove hunting. I started out with you. In fact, I remember now, my first shotgun was actually wallpapering your bathroom. And I think I spent probably, I don't know, three, almost probably a month or two doing that um, to get a shotgun that was, I think, $125. So uh, you definitely got a really good deal on that. Um, but anyway, hunting and fishing, that's a one memory that comes out. Um, I think the other one that comes out as well is when Diane and I were actually starting out. Um, we were really poor and so we couldn't afford to go out to eat. We always did like hamburger helper and tuna helper and uh, one night um, you invited, you and Linda invited us out to actually go to Hickory Feed Station and have uh, crab claws which was just unbelievable. I know it made Diane's day. So those are my memories. Um, happy 70th birthday. Hi Jim. Happy birthday. So the challenge is to pick a memory and share it with you. And that's hard for me to do because very few people have been in my life as long as you have, other than my sisters. But I remember coming home from the hospital as a little girl, I was probably five or six, and you brought me a game, a board game, and I think it was Parcheesi. Uh, and that still has stuck with me all of these years. Uh, another memory is you pulling up on your motorcycle to pick up Linda and take her on a ride. And the day you brought her back with a giant burn on her leg and my parents were not happy. Um, and all of the trips we've taken throughout the years. So just wanted to say thanks for being part of my life and happy 70th birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Look forward to seeing you at the party. Remember Marksville and Papi and the gourds. and see doing with you. Happy birthday, I love you. I think I can speak for our entire extended family when I say we are very thankful for you. You have always been a permanent, dependable, and caring person in all of our lives, kind of like Peepaw. And speaking of Peepaw, in this family of five girls, I know he really depended on you too, and so did mom. And thank you for being that person. So from the Whaley's and the Powell's. Happy 70th, 70th birthday, birthday, Jim! Woo! vacation together. We've explored Bainbridge Island together. We've gone to the top of the Space Needle to celebrate your anniversary and we even went all over Seattle on Segways and lived to tell about it. Yeah. <laughs> and Jim, there's hardly anything on your dock or my dock that hasn't been fixed at this point. Thanks for having all those great tools in the garage. So, let's raise a glass to Jim on his 70th. Happy, Happy 70th birthday! Jim. Jim. Hi there, Jim. I just wanted to say thanks for being such a great brother-in-law all these years, and thanks for being such an awesome leader of our big extended family, and especially thanks for all the hard work you've done the last several years taking care of Bubber's Affairs. Happy 70th birthday. I hope it's awesome. Hi, Jim. We're all here gathered together to um, honor you today. Um, I've known you my entire life since 
you've been in my life since I was probably three. And so you've definitely been more like a big brother to me than any kind of brother-in-law. So uh, just wanted to say I'm so grateful to the way you've treated my sister and my parents and your, your children and your grandchildren who adore you as Poppy. Um, uh, oh, we're all here to celebrate you. Cheers. Cheers. Hey dad, happy 70th birthday. I couldn't possibly think of all of the memories we've had together, but some in particular stand out. Of course, all of our trips to Louisiana, um, when I would pretend to be asleep so you would pick me up and put me in the back of the van uh, so I could um, sleep all the way on those on those long drives. Um, all of our hunting trips, and sometimes it was just you and me when I was younger. One in particular, um, when we were sitting under a tree, just sitting there uh, waiting for the doves to fly by, and you just said, remember this moment, Andrea, and I will never forget that moment. Um, all of the years that it was just you and me and we would go shopping for mom um, for Christmas That was always really special to me and we still do that sometimes today, which is awesome um, the uh, I remember the moment that you came into the room in Puerto Rico um, When you saw me on my wedding day, I'll never forget what you said in your look um, You made me feel so special my whole life. Of course, I'm getting emotional <laughs> Anyway, um, you're the most generous soul in the world, the most helpful, loving dad, and an amazing grandfather. Thank you for all of the years, many more to come. Happy birthday, dad. Love you so much. Hey, Jim, Connor, and I wanted to wish you a happy 70th birthday. Uh, hope you're having a, a wonderful day. Um, wanted to share some memories, one in particular, was uh, the day I told you I bought a ring and that I was going to ask Andrea to marry me. And you told me congratulations. And I told you she hasn't said yes yet, which was uh, an interesting <laughs> take on the conversation. But, but I do remember the next day uh, I was helping you put the sailboat up. You told me how excited you were, how excited Linda was. And, and that made me very, very happy. Uh, I hope I've been a good son-in-law to you. Uh, you have been nothing but a wonderful, fantastic father-in-law to me. I uh, wish you many more birthdays to come and happy birthday. He can't talk yet. Hey dad, hard to believe you're turning seven years old. I've got way too many, many memories to list. I'm really more grateful. First of all, for you not giving up on me back when I was a knucklehead teenager. I wanted to do it in this room with all these pictures of the, our beautiful family. Um, mine probably wouldn't be on there if you had given up on me, so thank you for that. If I turn out to be half the man you are, that's saying something. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. Happy birthday, baby. It's been a joy sharing more than 50 years of your life with you. We've made many memories, starting with typing class in high school where neither one of us learned to type. We have shared countless blessings, three amazing children, six fabulous grandkids, countless trips, many wonderful memories of the lake, and hopefully we have many more years together to share many more memories. Love you. Hey, Jim. Happy 70th birthday. I'm not, I know exactly why you've lived this long. It's all due to Linda. Because your dad, um, he diagnosed you with a lifelong disease when you were about 12. When he said you had motorcycleitis. And it was, it was permanent. You would never be cured. But Linda kept you alive, and I think it's great. And I, I, I just so glad that she kept you here all these years because you are my idol, and I love you, and you've always been my my uh, strength and leader. Happy birthday, love you, and I look forward to your 80th, 90th, 
and 100th birthday. Hey dad, happy 70th. So many memories. Now I know I don't have time to share them all, but some of the big standouts from childhood are surfing the waves in Galveston, being able to go to brunch with you and breakfast on Sunday mornings, just you and I, after we went to mass together, because we were the early risers in the family. And also you teaching me so much about how to do things, how to install a ceiling fan, how to install a faucet, build a fence, change my oil, which I've only done that one time, but I know I can do it. And really what I remember and what I'm so thankful for is the lessons that you've taught me so many times and in so many ways. You showed me that it's important to plan and to do things right, and then you only have to do it once. Because if you do it right the first time, you don't have to go back and redo it. But you also showed me that when you do mess up, fix it, go back, make it right. And I think that's such a valuable lesson that I try and carry with me. And as I'm doing things, I think about you in that way. Thank you so much for all you've done for me and the lessons you've taught, the support you've shown me throughout childhood and still today, I'm still learning from you. And I know I've got many more years to keep learning all you have to share. Love you, Dad. Ready, take 47. Hi, Hi Jim. Jim. We'd like to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. Jim, I've really enjoyed your friendship and company over the years at the lake. We've also had many great dinners out. We've had great fun fishing on the lake and have had super trips fishing in Key West and Alaska. Great memories. We're so glad we're able to celebrate your special day with you. Jim, like to make a toast to Jim Decour. Like a fine wine, you're getting better with age. And don't worry, Jim, in dog years, you're just 10 years old. Cheers. Okay, that's got to be it, all right? I mean, we really, have a damn I mean, take God, we got to do this again. Happy, happy 70th birthday. The world has been so blessed to have you for the past 70 years. You have been such a great grandfather to me and such an amazing role model and have taught me so much. You've taught me the importance of knowing how to work hard and how to fix things in a world where not many people know how to do that. I so look forward to getting to share every Sunday morning mass and brunch with you and then dinner on Sundays. It is so special to get to have such a close relationship with my grandparents. And I truly cherish that. Um, once again, happy 70th. Hey, Uncle Jim. You have been teaching me things my whole life. You taught me how to fish. You used to take me fishing all the time as a little girl. And I thought it was super cool. And now sitting here in my new house, you helped me figure out the right questions to ask. And you know, just to protect myself and make sure I was making the right decision. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. You've taught me so much. I love you so much. I hope that you have an awesome special birthday. Happy birthday, love you. Hey puppy, I wanna wish you a happy 70th birthday. And I wanna share that one of my favorite memories with you was when you came and visited me um, with Uncle Randy last semester, or two semesters ago. And um, we went to Louisiana Pizza Kitchen and we talked and it was, it was really fun. And also all the times that we got up really early, more early than I'm willing to get up now and um, went fishing at the lake or when we went and rode four wheelers on the land and stuff like that. It was, those were some of my favorite memories. Happy 70th birthday. Hi, Poppy. I remember putting the pig's head on Odile's car and grabbing the goose by the neck and um, pulling up wooden planks at the lake house. I even saved that board 
See? Happy birthday. Okay. Uncle Jim, is it true you're really 70? I think you miscounted. I have a little something to say. You got a lot of heart in those Texas boots. But you learn to love life from your Louisiana roots. Happy birthday! Hey Jim, Sandy here. Um, there's a lot I could say. Uh, we have a long history and uh, I've got a lot of really funny stories that involve you. But luckily I don't have time to tell them, so. <laughs> Happy 70th birthday! Love you! Happy birthday, Jim. Jim, happy birthday. Man, I can't believe you're so old. I mean, it's crazy. It seems like it was just yesterday, right? That, you know, we were at Sheffield. You're playing cards with my dad and mom. And, uh, you know, we're out in one of the bedrooms just acting crazy with Lisa and Andrea and Randy and Ricky. But, but uh you know, I could talk about two green boogers or motorcycle uh, wrecks. Let's not touch that one. I'm sure my mother will bring it up in her video and you peeing on a campfire probably. But, you know, I, I, I was thinking about what I wanted to tell you and, you know, the one thing I really wanted to tell you was, was thanks for being my dad's best friend. Uh, I don't know if I've ever thanked you for that, but it, it really meant a lot. And uh, it kind of speaks to who you are. And, uh, you know, just it didn't bother you, you know, that you saw what was happening to my dad and it just didn't bother you. And you, you kept playing cards and, and you kept being a good friend to him and, and an uncle to, like, you know, me and, me and my brothers. But the thing I've never told you, though, is the impact that that had on me because, I don't know, maybe I just didn't realize it at the time, but... I'll never forget when I was probably 11 years old and my dad, we were walking out of some place and, you know, he got, he was getting all wonky and stumbly and you were behind him and you grabbed his arm to kind of stabilize him. And, you know, with that shitty grin you have on your face, you were like, hey, Richard, you, you drink one too many margaritas in there? You know, and, and my dad had that, you know, that ha, ah, you know, smile on his face, laugh, and, and just y'all kept trucking on to the car and... It's funny how little things have sometimes the biggest impression on people, but you don't understand that that helped me deal with what was going on with my dad. It made me not afraid of it. It showed me how to deal with it and not be not be afraid. And it was kind of crazy, but it was that moment that it just kind of burned into my mind that it just didn't matter, that I loved him. I wasn't afraid of it. Uh, and, you know, it made me not ashamed to hold him up, you know, in walking down the aisle for communion, you know, as he shook. Uh, or steer, you know, his steering wheel in his car and shift the gears as he drove me to football practice. <clears throat> so, Jim, I just wanted to say, you know, thanks. Thanks. I mean, you've actually, <laughs> you've been a, a, a wonderful example and I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from you. All right. I love you, old man. God, I can't believe you're so old. Whoop, 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 whoop. Happy birthday, Poppy. Looking forward to the next garage sale. Happy birthday, hey, Jim. Jim. Wow, we're so happy to be neighbors of yours, both here in Addison and out at the lake. We have such great times together. Not only that, but we learned on a recent little trip uh, a week or so ago that you're a mountain climber. You climb the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> in Zion Park. I got a picture of it. <laughs> and we love being neighbors with you and Linda and uh, meeting our new friends at the lake, too. So, anyway, happy birthday and many, many more. Many, many more. Many you got to catch up with me. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Mwah! Hey, puppy, it's Austin. Um, I want to wish you a happy birthday, and I wanted to share a memory. So every, when we were at the lake house, um, you, in the morning, we used to throw the net 
over the dock to get the minnows and you teaching me that. That's probably my favorite mini memory um, of you. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. We are excited to celebrate you today and all the special memories you have helped create. As I thought about memories over the last 27 plus years, your generosity was present in all, whether it was your time, money, or spirit. You were always there to lend a hand, whether it's a tree branch that falls in your backyard or a fence that is too tall at the lake. As Jamie and I left our wedding reception and headed down in the elevator, you gave us an envelope so we could have a little extra fun on our honeymoon, which let us splurge on extra excursions, which was helpful as 22-year-old newly college graduates. And last but not least, your generous spirit is how you offer advice, assistance, and guidance, which has made you a wonderful role model for not only raising an amazing son, but also your two grandsons as well. Thank you for your generosity and all that you do. Love you and happy birthday.